Welcome back to Nerd News, a new show about my interests. These topics are included in today's episode. Tentech Review revealed the new iPhone SE. Same but also some new stuff inside. Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 3 and Asus Rug Flow Z13 are the weirdest laptops and tablets from CES this year. Sony may start making cars soon, since they revealed their second concept electric car, Vision S02. So this is how the new iPhone SE will look like. The screen itself has been changed a lot. It is now 5.69 inches, which is much bigger than the previous model, which even had a physical home button. There is still some weird old stuff, like just one camera, and curvy corners, which were last seen years ago. In these photos, this phone looks to have an Apple Lightning charge port. Uh, don't know if that will be changed in Europe, since all of the mobile devices will have USB-C ports starting this year. But time will tell more about this. We still have some interesting stuff to show from CES, because Lenovo released ThinkBook Plus Gen 3. This ThinkBook has not only over 70 inch main screen, but also an 8 inch touch screen in the right corner of the keyboard. You can also use an included stylus with the second screen. The second screen is mostly for multitasking purposes, like in this ad picture, you can draw something and it will appear on the main screen program. The main screen resolution is 1440p and the second screen is 1280 by 800 pixels. This ThinkBook will of course have the new Intel 12th gen processors and DDR5 RAM. ThinkBook Plus Gen 3 will come this year in May and in the US it will cost $1,400. Also Asus has something interesting stuff because the Rockflow Z13 gaming tablet got released. Though it still has Windows 11 and other laptop stuff, they still claim it as a tablet. Asus says that it is the most powerful tablet ever made and it's true since it has a new Intel Core i9 and RTX 3050 Ti graphics card. It also has DDR5 RAM. It also has a built-in stand and many USB, HDMI and DisplayPort ports. They didn't reveal how much this will cost or when this is coming though. Last but not least, we have Sony in the house with their concept electric car Vision S02. This is actually not their first concept car. They made the Vision S01 two years ago, which is like a Tesla Model S competitor. This new O2 is a Model Y or Model X competitor, since this is an SUV, not an sedan. Because of that, this new one is bigger and it weighs more. 2480 kilograms. This has two 100 kilowatt electric motors which can go up to 180 kilometers per hour. On the inside we have three screens in the front just like in the O1. There are also two screens for the mirrors since those are cameras not regular glass mirrors. Also the air conditioner has its own screen like in the Porsche Taycan. Also, the sound system should be amazing, which is expected from Sony. Now it has autopilot, level 2 plus self-driving tech, but it can be upgraded all the way up to the level 4 in the future, thanks to sensors and lighter radars. This project may sometimes come to our garages, but it can also be killed. Let's hope that this will come real, cause this is looking really interesting. Thanks for watching this episode of Nerd News. See you in the next one.